going YouTube this is Mario back again on another video so this video will talk about Ruslan the rapper CCSH artist um, I didn't been following Ruslan well I knew about Ruslan for a few years now um, pretty much since 2015 or 2016 whenever I found about John Gibbs and Belief because Ruslan has been like on the radar on a lot of CHH um, circles and last year I kind of did a video about Ruslan when had a beef with Hazakim, and you know now I see you know now well he's been had a YouTube channel for a long time but you know now I just been starting following him on YouTube and he's been talking some real like true stuff like he's talking about entrepreneurship you know branding and you know stuff that I've been learning from you know like Gary Vaynerchuk and um and um, Dave Ramsey and stuff like that guys who are like into finances and personal branding and it's really cool hearing now from somebody that's a Christian, you know, because like Gay Rain Chuck, I'm much I like his content. He do curse a lot, you know, like he say the F word like a bunch of times, you know, which doesn't really offend me like I used to. But like it's nice to hear from somebody who is a Christian because like a lot of times we, we, time we talk about money, talk about success, you know, Christians think that, if, if, you know, it comes off as worldly. It comes off as self-centered self-centered and it comes off as you know oh you're you oh you know what about god you know and like he's talking about you know how god wants us to live abundant in abundance you know and that's why so lack of anything so like i like ruson i like his content i like his videos you know i like the fact that he's very um intentional about his his brand you know he's very about family he's about um you know documenting his stories he's about you know, teaching young people, you know, he's very big on, on youth, you know, which is the reason why a lot of his, you know, um, label is young, like John, or well, John Gibbs wasn't the label, but, you know, he's pretty, he, you know, he's pretty young. Um, the person who's with his label now, uh, John Keith, you know, he looks like he's around my age, you know, like early to mid 20s, somewhere around that age bracket, even probably even younger than that, you know, so like it's cool seeing that he's very, you know, he has a heart for young people. You know, he did a video, um, kind of what I would, what I mainly want to talk about is a video he did. Um, I think it was yesterday or two days ago about, you know, fight about your dreams. You know, he saw about dreams and, you know, this was last week he did this video. He saw about dreams and this video like really kind of hit home to me because when I, when he saw he did an interview with a, a pastor, he talked about millennials and Gen Z and stuff like that and how, you know, today's young, generation of young people are entitled and they think that success comes easy, comes fast because they look at guys like PewDiePie and um, guys who are playing Twitch and, you know, on, on YouTube and then getting like millions of subscribers and then getting money just doing videos. And, and you know, I, I get where he's talk, coming from because a lot of people who are like around my age grew up in a YouTube era. You know, we grew up watching, you know, Fred, we grew up watching PewDiePie when he was still... Uh, new when we were still in like had a, like a few million subscribers, we were watching, um, you know, other cats like that. You know, Fred, um, Soldier Boy when he was you know at his peak. Remember when he was like doing YouTube? You know, like we grew up in that era, not YouTube era. So like to us, it's always been so to us, you know. We, so so we saw this at a young age, and then by the time you know we got to our teens, you know, our late teens, early twenties, YouTube has gotten so big to where people are just. To where YouTube is, has to become TV now. Like kids today don't even watch TV, like they watch YouTube, and and like that's the reason why a lot of our generation feel like they don't have to work as hard, like you know the previous generations did. And you know, Ruslan, you know, he's not old. Like, I mean, he graduated high school in 2003, so so he's born like 1985, so he's a millennial himself. But you know, when people talk about millennials, they always talk about my age range, you know, they talk about like 90s borns, they don't talk about like the 80s cats, you know, because 80s borns are considered too old because they're some millennials because, you know, they got kids, got families, but like, you know, but he, but he kind of, but, you know, he's, you know, but he's like very, even though, like, even though he could come off as, you know, harsh, you know, I don't, you know, I don't want to say harsh, but, you know, kind of straightforward, kind of blunt because, you know, he is Russian. But like he's he's very like he's not mean, you know, he's not a jerk, you know, he's not he's not one of those, you know, back in my day type of people. You know, he's more of the hey, you know, I get hey, you know, 
I can help you, but you just gotta be you gotta have self awareness. You gotta have you gotta know this is this is what this is you have it in you because like a lot of people they think oh well I could just be a rapper I could be a basketball player but they don't have the talent for it or they don't have the um, discipline for it you know like they don't have they don't have enough self awareness about themselves to do the stuff they say they want to do that's why a lot of people fail at, at a lot of things for me like poetry has always been my thing like poetry was been been my thing since I was fourteen like I knew I had it in me. You know, um, I've been writing poetry for almost eight years now. I'm about to be 22 in a, in, a, in a month. So I knew, so I knew poetry's always been my thing, you know. Like, I was good at it from, you know, the time I started writing. I mean, poems I write now are a lot better because I got older. But, like, even back when I was 14, 15, when I was writing poems about Jesus and it was just, like, short three stands of poems, people were like, oh, my God, that's so good. Oh, my God, that's so dope. Like, I'm glad that's so fly. And like I was writing about, you know, Jesus and Christian and being a Christian and stuff like that. Like it wasn't really nothing too deep like like my poems now. Now my poems are just like, oh my God. Like I get I get people who are I get cats from the like spoken word community, like legit like poets, you know, from who done it for like 10, 15 years or saying all poems are dope. So I definitely had the talent for it. I got a discipline for it. You know, you know, I got the talent, I got the discipline. You know, and and God's in my life, so I have those the key elements of, you know, of what He's mentioned in that video. Also, He also talked about the market. You know, because like you, you got to make money if you want if you want to truly have financial freedom, you have to know how to make money. And like that's something that I kind of kind of struggle with because, you know, as last I mentioned in a comment I posted in that video, um, you know. I know I have a source of income. I don't want to have a job because, you know, what I do, I had to do AmeriCorps, which is a service program, you know, where we serve the community, like doing job training, GD program, community service, all that jazz. You know, I do get money for it based on hours I put in that, in that, in that organization, but I'm not making, like, real income. I'm not making that $1,000 a month like he mentioned in the video. So I'm, I'm going to get a job soon. So once I get a job and, and, and do that, you know, then I probably I probably make a, a close to one thousand a month, you know. I know that a nine five I know that a nine five job, you know, alone is not gonna give me a thousand dollars a month, but I'm definitely, you know, figuring out ways how can I brand myself, how can I grow my personal brand, you know. Like I started like I made an intro, say young with a purpose, you know, hashtag YWAP. Like so I'm, I already had this stuff in me prior to watching Ruslan, but like hearing it from a Christian perspective just made me, it made me realize that, you know, why entrepreneurship is so important because like if you, if you're an entrepreneur and if you're not an entrepreneur in this day and age, like you'll be crushed, you know, you'll be crushed, you know, not, not in the short term, but you'll definitely be crushed, you know, longer down the road because, you know, jobs are very competitive. It's hard to get a job these days. Cost of living has gone way up. In, in the United States, so many young people are moving in and out in different cities, and, and you know, Rusan he lives in LA, so he definitely knows the deal what comes with like gentrification and stuff like that. And so for me, I'm always trying to look for different ways I can make money, how can I can make um, passive income, and and like YouTube right now, I only got a few subscribers, I don't have the, the um, views, I don't have I don't have enough. Um, traction on my channel to, to, to really make money off of it so to speak so i'm trying to figure out ways i can i can make money you know like i'm you know definitely want to start flipping stuff on amazon i'm definitely going to learn how to do that um i'm going to try to sell maybe stuff like some old sneakers i don't wear or something that i could flip you know that can get, make me some money because i can't really use some um, passive income, you know, some sustainable source of income, you know, just, just find different ways, you know, more lawns, you know, I can't, I, I try to, like, I apply for a job to like mow lawns, but, you know, my mom said don't do it because you got allergies, which is, you know, legitimate, you know, because I was, you know, that was going to be my first job was mow lawns, but, you know, this was like 2015 when, I, you know, when I started my college career in North Carolina, and she told me not to do it because I have asthma, I got allergies really bad, you know, I can't be around pollen, so, you know, that kind of ruined my chance of making money at the time, but, like, you know, I'm still learning, I'm still growing, I'm still figuring out ways I can 
develop as a as a brand and just really go all in on my passion. So I, I definitely like what Ruslan's saying. I do I feel like what Ruslan's talking about. You know, Ruslan is definitely one of my favorite um not not necessarily my favorite CJ artist, but definitely one of my favorite YouTubers to watch. You know, I don't have really checked out his music yet because you know I haven't really been to CHH that much. You know, outside of like Reach and outside of like you know Humble Beast, I haven't really been listening to that much CHH in the last couple of years. But now that I know a little bit more about Ruslan, now that I see what Ruslan is trying to take um, his brand, as far as like you know Christians being financially literate, now I'm more interested in Ruslan now because I see the human side of Ruslan. Now, you know, it's not just, oh, I'm a Christian rapper. It's like, you know, I'm a human being. I got a wife. I got a son. You know, I'm trying to make, I'm trying to make ends meet. I'm trying to show Christians that you don't have to be rich to, to live a life of comfort and satisfaction. And, and you don't have to necessarily be a slave, a, a wage slave either. You know, he could, he could, he could be um, happy and content and still love God and still do things you want to do. And like, that's the type of message that I'm, I, I'm, trying to send on my channel, you know, even though I'm not where I want to be financially, you know, not where I want to be, um, you know, in a natural sense, because, you know, I'm still at my home, my mom's, you know, I'm barely making any money with my um, service, you know, training at AmeriCorps, but, you know, at least, at least, you know, I'm not one of these young people who are quote unquote entitled, like that's something that a lot of people say about my generation is that we too entitled because we think that everything comes easy and you know and i'm not one of those young people you know who just sits around play video games all day inspect to inspect you know people to inspect the world to owe me something you know i'm not that type of you know 21 year old you know i know i don't party i don't drink i don't smoke i don't do any of that stuff that a lot of my peers are doing so you know, I'm going to do a video about that later on, about entitlement with millennials. I'm going to do a video about that because, you know, I feel like I, I feel like millennials get a bad rap when it comes to entitlement, you know, about co everything coming too fast. Like, you know, most millennials I know are just are regular people, you know. I mean, of course, you know, millenn people, when I say millennials, I don't think of Ruslan, of course, because Ruslan is like, he's married, has a kid now. But like, you know, these think millennials are as young and inexperienced and and you know, don't have any life experience. You know, they don't think they don't realize that millennials are old enough to have children. They old enough to get married. Some some of them, you know, have children that are in their teens. You know, like I know millennials who have you know teenage kids. You know, and like so, millennials are definitely not as young and stupid as like Gen Xers or baby boomers make it make it look like. But you know, but as far as like Gen Z is concerned, you know, that's definitely more in the Gen Z bracket because Gen Z were born in like you know. You know, the 90s, late 90s, 2000s, you know, they grew up. So they grew up in that digital era, you know, technology boom, the technology boom, the 2000s. They, they saw all that happen when they were young, when they were like under 10. So so to them, this, this was always normal to them. But for millennials, for the most part, they grew up in the 90s and, you know, late 80s, 90s, early 2000s. So technology was like new to them. Technology was something that that kind of grew, kind of grew up kind of didn't establish yourself until they got in their teens or their 20s you know like ruslan said in, in, in one of his videos that myspace wasn't even around when he was in high school you know he graduated high school in 03 so that was right before myspace came out you know right before myspace came out and so you know it just goes to show that you know you know that it's just goes so that you could be young and still have a purpose and still and still glorify god and that's my brand that's my vision that's my model young with a purpose because i mean I, you know ruslan is in his 30 early 30s you know he's still he's still a part of that younger generation you know he's still a part of that generation y you know bracket where you know he's not you know he's not super young but he's not old either you know he's he's still got chops you know he's still he still could grind it out on the hip-hop scene for another 10 15 years you know so like ruslan is definitely a, a great man a great example and I hope the best for him, you know, I hope the best for his wife, for his kid, you know, I hope the best for his music, you know, hope he, you know, he does go further, you know, in, his, in, his, in, his, in life because he's definitely a role model to me. Even though I've only been following Ruslan for the last, for only like two days now, 
I definitely can look up to him as somebody who is like a little bit older than I am. He's like 11 years older than me, but like he's doing something that I want. He's where I want to be when I turn when I turn 30. When I turn when I turn 30, I want to be at that place where where I can have a house, I can have a car, no debt, um, travel around the country, travel around the world, and, and never have to worry about bills. Like that's where I want to be in the next five to ten years of my life. So. Ruslan, thank you so much. Hope we continue to do what you do. And this is Mario. Peace.